Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradium Thrifts. If you are new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And when I'm not busy reselling or making content for YouTube and Instagram, you can most likely catch me curled up in bed reading a book. If I could get paid to just read, like not do anything else, like literally just read, I would drop reselling in a heartbeat. Unfortunately, I don't think that job exists, so I'll stick to reading as a hobby, but I wanted to share with you guys five books that I think all resellers should read. If you guys aren't interested in like reading like a physical copy of the book, at least check out the audio version because I honestly believe that there are super helpful tips in the books that I'm going to share with you guys and I just think that everybody should be in on this, you know? But if you guys are interested in hearing about the five books that I think all resellers should read, stay tuned. But before we get into it, I'm doing my last reseller highlight of the month. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of the poshers that I purchased from because Literally all of my buying experiences from each one of these people has been excellent. A lot of them I've even purchased from multiple times, in including the reseller that I'm going to be highlighting today. I wish I planned this a little bit better because like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I ended up spending <laughs> quite a bit of money when I shouldn't have. So um, I'll have to do something similar to this again in the future because I really want to be able to shout out other resellers and give you guys your little time to shine. But anyway, today's reseller is currently Lily. This is my second time. I think I think second time. I might have purchased more in the past, but this is at least my second time purchasing from her. And I got this piece right here. It was actually new with tags. It is an American Eagle little romper. I think it's meant to be slept in. It's super slouchy, but I belted it and I'm gonna show you that in a second. I belted it so that it's a little bit more fitted and just a little bit cuter and I feel like I can actually wear it like outside. But this is what it looks like. So as you can see, I just threw on a little belt so that I could fold it over and I think it's a really cute, just super, super comfy. And the funny thing is literally the day after I purchased this from her on Poshmark, I found the same exact romper but in a different color at goodwill so i'm keeping both of them i just think it is so cozy and cute as somebody who works from home i love just wearing really comfy clothes that i can even go outside in you know if i need to drop off my packages or want to do like a last minute coffee run or thrift trip so this is really cute because i can just like chill in it at the house and then uh throw the belt on and head outside lily has the cutest closet it is seriously like the definition of a curated closet so definitely check it out super boho super cute and also give her a follow on instagram because she posts some fire content as well so i'm going to be sharing with you guys five books that i think all resellers should read these are business books and self-development books these books I believe have really good insight on them not only to help you grow your business and kind of manage your business better but also to grow yourself as an entrepreneur so the first one actually is a little bit more on the entertainment side and it's one of my favorites I've read it so many times but it is Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso maybe you guys have seen the Netflix show that they have of it that is such a good show I don't know if it's just because it's like about resellers that I'm so into it but I think it's really cute the show is a lot different than the book the show is obviously more for like entertainment purposes this definitely has Sophia Amoruso's life story in it and she also has anecdotes from other businesswomen and some just like inspiring tips on how to run your business so if you guys are looking for a more fun read, I think this is it for you right here. For those of you guys who don't know who Sofia Amoruso is, she is the founder and CEO of Nasty Gal. Actually, I'm not sure if she's still the CEO. I believe she might have sold the business, but she is the original girl boss, obviously. She actually started out as a reseller on eBay and she sold vintage on there. She grew her business literally using MySpace as her method of marketing into Nasty Gal, into this whole huge fashion business. And it's just very admirable, I think, and it can show you how much power there is in reselling and what you can accomplish as a reseller, even if you are starting out on eBay. But 
highly recommend this the next book that i want to share with you guys is a little bit more on like finances and money mindset and it is you are a badass at making money by jen sincero and you guys might have seen her other books she has the original which is you are a badass she has this one and then she has uh you are a badass every day and then i think the last one is like badass habits or something now if you are offended by this title then this might not be the right book for you she's very straightforward she does curse quite a bit in this book but i just feel like that gives her this like edge and spice that i really like i've read all of her books so i'm definitely a fan of her writing but what i like about this so much is that at the end of every chapter there are like drills and practices that you can actually do um so i would just like write on a sticky note and tape it in there once i've done the exercise and pretty much this book is about mastering your mindset on wealth and I know that this is gonna sound weird but I've had trouble in the past kind of feeling like am I worthy enough to make money and I know that that sounds weird but I swear it's just like some weird little negative idea that I have in my head I don't know where it came from but it's something that I've been working on and this book has a lot of practices that you can do to kind of get out of those negative ideas that you might have about money. I know that some people do grow up with kind of bad habits towards money because of what their parents taught them or just like what they grew up around and this book is going to help you through it. So definitely recommend and if you like this book check out her other ones as well I, I they're all pretty similar but I really like just you know the way that I feel after I read these books I just feel really motivated and like I'm in a better place than before I read it which obviously should be the goal when you read a self-development book or something like that the next book I don't have a physical copy of it because I only listen to the audio version and I really need to buy a physical copy because I really want to read it again it was really good but it is Atomic Habits by James Clear this is probably one of like these staple self-development books out there a lot of people do talk about this when they talk about what self-development books you should read but I feel like if you are somebody who maybe struggles to be consistent or have a hard time balancing work life and personal life, this can be a really good book for you. Like I said earlier, I listened to the audio version and there were just some moments where my mind was just blown. Like I was like, oh my god, that's such a good piece of advice and I wish that I like had the physical copy because if you can't tell, I like to write in my books and i just know that i would just like highlight the shit out of atomic habits like i was saying if you are somebody who struggles with being consistent or just have a hard time creating healthy habits whether it's in your personal life or in your business um definitely give it a read but i really enjoyed listening to that book and i definitely recommend it to other business owners and other entrepreneurs this next book is kind of similar to atomic habits but it goes more into like goal planning and staying consistent with um reaching your ultimate goals in life and it is start finishing so this is how to go from idea to done if you are a procrastinator or maybe if you are somebody who has other projects not just reselling maybe you're like me and you run like a youtube and you have like social media or you run a blog or anything else even if it's not reseller related if you have other projects in your life as well i feel like this book should be on your reading list it says productivity meets purpose discover a powerful nine step method to start finishing the work that matters what i loved about this book so much is that it doesn't just focus on like how to do things it makes you really pay attention to why you're doing it and it gives you purpose into what your projects are this book is the reason that i kind of came to terms with the fact that thrifting is my passion and reselling is my passion and that's okay and that's why i kind of found this path in my life um and i know that that's really deep <laughs> but i really enjoyed this book i am definitely a procrastinator um and some of that stems out of like having like a perfectionist mindset but this book really allows you to figure out what's most important to you what your goals are in life and how you can get from thinking about your goals to actually accomplishing them so definitely recommend this one and the last book that i want to share with you guys is one of my most recent reads i actually haven't even finished it yet i still need to finish it but i couldn't 
not included on this list and it is Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. I might have pronounced that wrong, but this book, it's a lot. It's a lot of information, honestly. Um, that's why it's taking me a little bit longer to read through it because there are some things that I kind of have to take action on before I can like finish reading the book. So I'm going to read the cover. It says, transform your business from a cash eating monster to a money making machine. And that's essentially what this book is about if you're watching this and you are a part-time reseller you have money coming in from other sources and you're not just like solely reliant on reselling i feel like this book still will help you but if you are like a full-time reseller reselling is your main source of income this book right here is going to change your life it talks about paying yourself before you do anything else and I know that that sounds kind of weird. It's kind of backwards from what we're taught, you know, like usually you minus your expenses and then you pay yourself whatever's left. This is talking about paying yourself before you pay everything else and learning how to run your business on less expenses. And it's such a simple concept, I think, but implementing it can make a huge difference in your life. And the reason I haven't finished it is because there are some things that I still need to work on and i just haven't gotten there yet i am kind of procrastinating a little bit but i truly find that all the information in that book is extremely helpful and i feel like once i do like fully implement all of it my business is really going to change for the better so really excited about that but highly recommend if you only read one book out of the five books that i've shared with you guys today it needs to be profit first he has some other books too as well as i think it's called the pumpkin plan and some other things which are on my to be read list haven't read them yet but let me know down below if you guys have read anything else by him because i definitely need to check them out and that is it for my five books that i think all resellers should read this is not all inclusive there are definitely other books out there that i think are great for entrepreneurs and for small business owners which is what we are but i just thought these ones were fun maybe starter ones if you guys like this video let me know i would love to do more of these like i said i read a lot i read a lot of self-development a lot of business books but if you guys want any other book recommendations let me know i would be more than happy to oblige that is all for today if you guys aren't already please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on that bell notification so that you guys can be notified whenever i post a new video which is going to be on mondays and thursdays days and I guess that's it so I will see you guys next time bye